hey guys in the previous video we have seen the properties of a tree today we are going to see what is a spanning tree so the definition is here a graph which contains all vertices with minimum number of edges so these are the two conditions contains all vertices and minimum number of edges so such a graph is called as spanning tree okay so that can also be written in another way so here is another definition a spanning subgraph okay so the first condition is that graph should be a spanning subgraph and it should be a tree so a spanning subgraph means it should contain all vertices and a tree means it should contain minimum number of edges means there should not be any cycle okay so here is an example so see this is the graph this is the main graph now from this main graph we are forming a spanning tree here right so we have to take all the vertices so see we have taken all the vertices here a b c d okay now start from a to b so we draw edge a to b then b to d okay then d to c right so after drawing these three edges c if we go for drawing an another edge then that forms a cycle okay or this edge so that forms a cycle again so if you want to avoid a cycle then this is the final number of edges okay and all the vertices are covered here so this is one spanning tree this is one spanning tree of this graph right now for the same graph there can be many spanning trees so here is an another spanning tree if you take another three edges a to c then a to d and d to b then it forms an another spanning tree so this is the second spanning tree the only condition is that it should contain all the vertices in the main graph all vertices in the main graph and minimum number of edges so if you want to take minimum number of edges and if you want the graph to stay connected because it is a tree so it should always stay connected then the number of edges are always n minus 1 so what is the meaning of minimum number of edges the edges should be n minus 1 okay so if there are n vertices that is 4 vertices here then the edges should be 4 minus 1 that is 3 so if the vertices are n the number of vertices are n then number of edges will be n minus 1 okay so this is the condition let's draw an another spanning tree so if you take suppose if you take these two edges and an another edge like this so this forms an another spanning tree so see these are the vertices a b c and d from this graph we have formed an another spanning tree by taking four vertices all the four vertices and three edges they are different edges so in this way there can be many spanning trees now just for helping you to understand better i have added one more example so see this is the graph and how many vertices are there in this graph one two three four five and six okay so six vertices means number of edges in the spanning tree will be six minus one that is five okay because that is n minus 1 so n minus 1 is 6 minus 1 in this case so 5 edges okay so let's start with any first stage you can take any edge as the first stage right there can be many spanning trees so we can use any edge for starting so I will use a d now you can use a b So how many edges are over? 
two edges are over. We need three more to form five edges. But while taking the edges, you should always remember that it should not form a cycle. There should not be a cycle because it is a tree, right? So now BC. Let me take BC. Okay. Now can we take CD? Can we take this edge? No, we cannot take because it forms a cycle. It forms a cycle if we take CD. So I will take CF. CF. How many edges are over? 1, 2, 3 and 4. See, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the edges taken. Now, the final edge, you can take any edge. Either FG or AG. Both don't form a cycle. So I may take AG. C. So this is the spanning tree. So this is one spanning tree formed here. You can make another spanning tree. C. A, B. Then C. Then take C, D now. Now you cannot take DA because it forms a cycle. So you cannot take DA now. Okay. So take AG. Right. So how many edges are over? 1, 2, 3 and 4. One more edge is needed. So take GF. Right. So this is another spanning tree. So all the vertices are covered and number of edges are n minus 1. That is minimum number of edges. Okay. So this is how we form a spanning tree. Now let's go back to the original video. The next concept is for minimum spanning tree. Minimum or you can also say minimal spanning tree. So a minimum spanning tree is a tree or is a subgraph which has total weight of the edges to be minimum. So the total weight of all the edges should be minimum. For that there must be a cost or weight over every edge. For every edge there must be a weight. So let's see an example for minimum spanning tree now. So now we have assigned weights for the edges okay, in the graph. So here is the previous graph and now we have assigned the weights to that graph. So the condition is that total or sum of the weights of edges must be minimum. Okay. So here we are clear that how many edges should be there n minus 1. Okay. So now see here vertices are 4. So 4 vertices are there. So edges should be 3. Number of edges should be 3. So see the weights. What is the minimum weight? Minimum weight is 1. So start from here. So C to D and the weight is 1. Okay. So that is the minimum weight. After that check what is the minimum weight? Uh, minimum weight is 2. Okay. So 2. So that is the edge. So that is A to D. A to D. That is the weight. Then what is the minimum weight? 3. After that the weight is 3. So you can take any one. Okay. If it does not form a cycle. While forming this you have to always avoid the edges which form a cycle even if they are minimum weight you should not take those edges because they form a cycle so for this ac and bd check which edge forms a cycle c ac so if you connect this ac because its weight is 3 but that is not allowed because it forms a cycle so check for another edge yes bd this edge is also having weight 3 so, join that edge. Okay. So, here is the minimum spanning tree. Let's give the weights. See, 1, then 2 and 3. So, here this is the minimum spanning tree for this graph. So, in this way we can form minimum spanning tree. Now, let's go for another graph. See, this is the another graph. So, how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5 and 6. As 6 vertices are there, number of edges should be 5, right? So, we are clear now, we have to take 5 edges. So, let us start from the minimum weight. So, minimum weight is 1, so F to E, F to E, the weight is 1. Now, now let us check whether there is another weight as 1. Yes, there is an another weight as 1. See, any number of weights can be there with value 1. So, you have to take all those edges with the same value. Only condition is that it should not form a cycle while adding those edges. So, BC. Right? Now, any other edge with minimum weight remaining? No. So, let us go to upper values now. Now, 2. Yes. AB. So, AB has weight 2. Any other edge? No. How many edges are finished? 3 edges are finished. We want 5 edges. Okay? Now, what is the upper value? 3. Okay? So, what is that? BF. So, BF. That value is 3. And also CF. So, make that edge. Oh, that edge makes a cycle. So, you should not take this edge now. See, this is an example. That forms a cycle. So, you should not take that edge. So, go for upper value or any other edge with value 3. There is no edge with value 3. So, now go for upper value 4. So, check for AF. Oh, that forms a cycle. Edge AF forms a cycle here. This is the cycle. So, you should not take. Now, any other edge with that value? FD. Yes. This is it. C. So, FD is the edge with value 4 and that does not form a cycle. So, now... How many edges are finished? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 edges are finished. So, obviously, 6 vertices must be finished. 5 edges means 6 vertices. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, all vertices have been accommodated. See, spanning means what? It has to accommodate all vertices. And a tree means what? It should be connected. And a minimum spanning tree means the weights should be minimum. Okay. So, this is it. A minimum spanning tree is formed. As we can see by our eyes here, we can calculate the minimum spanning tree. But suppose if there are thousands of edges in the graph and thousands of vertices in the graph, then how can we do this? Obviously, we cannot do this on paper or on board. So, we need an algorithm for that. So, there are two algorithms. One is Prim's algorithm for finding out minimum spanning tree and another is Kruskal's algorithm. Okay. So, these are the two algorithms for finding out minimum spanning tree. In the next video, we will see these two algorithms for finding out minimum spanning tree. This is very easy. We will see that in detail in the next video. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.